ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. You've clicked onto the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 7th day of July. And more than likely, the heat will be the big story across Alabama today. Good chance we'll be up in the uh, mid-90s in many areas today. Let's go to some Skycam images early this morning. Uh, these actually captured about 4.30. Are you kidding me? I had to uh, leave early today. Uh, here's a look at the lights of the city of Gadsden coming from the Skycam up in Etowah County, up in the Tennessee Valley. That's our Skycam from Decatur on the banks of the Tennessee River and down south on the banks of the Tom Bigby River, the Demopolis Skycam in North Marengo County. Nice and quiet this morning. You can see the water vapor satellite imagery showing a plume of drier air in here, so odds are most of us will be dry today. We've had the scattered showers and storms really for three days in a row, but it looks like uh, any of them today will be almost impossible to find over the northern half of the state. Quick look at the convective outlooks. Uh, today's slight risk for the uh, plains in the upper Midwest. Tomorrow, uh, from Wichita up to Detroit, and on day three, which is Wednesday, New England. And, of course, that's the typical summertime deal there. And, and the convective, or the uh, QPF outlook, this is the expected rain across the country, valid through Friday evening at 6 o'clock. And this is suggesting amounts of about uh, three-quarters to one inch here. And, look, we all know this graphic just doesn't work for us in the summer. For example, last night, parts of the city of Trussville had three inches of rain, all of that in just one hour, while just down the road, folks had nothing. Uh, but we'll see scattered showers and storms returning by uh, Wednesday and Thursday, probably. And uh, there's a look at Big Bertha. Bertha now the first hurricane of the season. Churning away in the central Atlantic. Uh, the sustained winds reached hurricane force this morning. The modeling showing a distinct recurving look there, as we talked about last week. Um, but, you know, until it recurves, it's not totally a lock. So everybody from Nassau and the Bahamas all the way up to uh, New England will have to keep an eye on this thing. But certainly, once it gets in that position, most of the time they will recurve. And the official track of the Hurricane Center is uh, similar. It kind of takes it up toward Bermuda this weekend. Uh, as a hurricane along the way, we'll uh, just sit back and wait and watch. But uh, certainly, it's not going to be a Gulf of Mexico storm, or at least it seems that way now. Here's the modeling. This is where we are at 1 o'clock today, coming off the OZGFS, a short wave uh, northeast of the state. And in the wake of that thing, you figure with drier air and some subsidence, uh, we're not going to have any rain today. And accordingly, the model looks dry for the northern two-thirds of the state. So it just looks like a sunny and hot day today. Uh, tomorrow, the moisture kind of comes back. But again, uh, I don't know. We'll, uh, if any showers are out there, they should be few and far between. Wednesday, a little surface boundary is north of here. That'll be approaching from the north. And again, that really suggests uh, the better chance of scattered showers and storms. Wednesday might, uh, Wednesday might be north of here and south of here. And uh, Thursday, that boundary kind of hangs up to the north over Tennessee. But somewhere in that time frame, Wednesday and Thursday, we could certainly see a shower or storm here, but they will be scattered. And then Friday, the old dreaded 594 Ridge builds over the Gulf of Mexico. We're kind of on the northern periphery of that. That would suggest just uh, dry weather for the Gulf Coast. And, uh, again, there's a look at the modeling, and uh, there could be a few scattered showers and storms on the northern flank of that thing. And then Saturday starting off the weekend, just typical summer stuff. Hot, steamy, maybe a storm in spots, and Sunday looks relatively dry. We'll dig deeper into July. This is the 18th. That looks like July weather, doesn't it? Ridging all across the uh, southern U.S. and maybe enough moisture for a shower or storm in spots and Map on the 22nd, the end of the forecast period, identical, ridging, hot, humid, and maybe a few scattered showers and storms, some kind of convective feedback down to the south. We'll just uh, uh, discount that for now. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on TV tonight, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Monday, and God bless. Wait, wait, wait.